The famous Canadian pianist Glenn Gould once composed a piece called So you wanna write a fugue? Have you got the nerve to write a fugue? And this is exactly the question I would like to ask Rudy today. Rudy, have you got the nerve to explain to us what a fugue is in a very short period of time? For a fugue, which starts with one voice, you need a subject. And I was thinking of a subject in the preparation of this little Rudy to go, your name, Schwan Castineira. I could find a few subjects like this. Schwan Castineira. And then comes the entry of the second voice with the same, but not on the same level. Let's say, Schwan Castineira. And then the soprano, Schwan Castineira. But what do the other voices do in the meantime? They make a counterpoint. That could be like this. Schwam Castineira, a little interlude. Schwam Castineira. Schwam Castineira. You see, I had this one, then this one, and then this one. And now, of course, I could change the entries. You can conduct a fugue for me. This is a soprano, blue like heaven. This is green grass like a bass. And this is the volcano, uh, inner voice. You show me and in advance and then I can get all those things set, settled. So let's start with this one. I think I now understand. A fugue is like sort of chasing between the voices. That's why it's called fugue. Mm -hmm. Flucht. What's Flucht. Flucht in English? Fleeing away. Yeah, exactly. That's the fugue. So I'm sure you might want to listen to a fugue after this program. I don't know. <laughs> 